as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Rewards and punishments. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25 verse 34. The Saviour presents before us the scene of the Last Judgment, when the reward is given to those upon his right hand and the sentence of condemnation to those upon his left hand. The righteous are represented as wondering what have they done for which they are to be so liberally rewarded. They have had the abiding presence of Christ in their hearts. They have been imbued with his Spirit and without conscious effort on their part, they have been serving Christ in the person of his saints and had thereby gained the sure reward. But they have not had in view the reward they were to receive, and the expectation of it had been no part of the motive that had actuated their service. What they did was done from love to Christ and to their fellow men. And Christ identifies himself with suffering humanity and accounts that all deeds done in sympathy and compassion and love to men are done to him. In a subordinate sense, we should all have respect unto the recompense of the reward. But while we appreciate the promise of blessing, we should have perfect confidence in Jesus Christ believing that he will do right and give us reward according as our work have been. The gift of God is eternal life. But Jesus would have us not so anxious concerning rewards as that we may do the will of God because it is right to do it irrespective of all gain. Those who will receive the most abundant reward will be those who have mingled with their activity and zeal, gracious, tender pity for the poor, the orphans, the oppressed and the afflicted. There are about us those who have a meek and lowly spirit, the spirit of Christ, who do many little things to help those around them and who think nothing of it. They will be astonished at last to find that Christ has noticed the kind words spoken to the disheartened and taken account of the smallest gift given for the relief of the poor that cost the giver some self-denial. The Lord measures the spirit and rewards accordingly and the pure, humble, Christ-like spirit of love makes the offering precious in his sight.